It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Barry. since the 9th century, and they're still here today. In a world where we have computers which simulate cards, we can shuffle a deck with a click of a button. We can put a card into play with a flick of a finger. Now, he said spitting on his face, why are they still here? Well, one, they're portable. Two, they're cost effective. Three, you apply one, two or more rules. You've got a game, you apply some different rules, you've got a different game. But you knew all that already. Number four, most importantly of all, I think it's because the physicality, the shuffling. If I had my way, I'd be shuffling, shuffling, shuffling every day. Collectible card games have been around for about 20 to 30 years. And they're basically a deck of cards of which you use some of them. You select the ones that you want to use. You build your deck, so to say. Now. These things are normally a one-on-one -on -one affair where you attack another player. Now, to get the advantage over that player, you might have to go out and buy some booster sets or packs. And these are just random cards thrown together. Some of them are more powerful than the ones that you started with. And some of them give you ideas for other strategies. Now, this can cost a lot of money. And uh, when I say a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. The other thing they do is it gives you thousands and thousands and thousands of cards and then you've just got to select a few. So you spend a long, 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 long time building your decks and you spend a little time playing. This is pleasure. This is pain. But you knew all that, didn't you? Dominion takes that boring part of collectible card games, the deck building aspect, and makes that part the game. Now don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy lots and lots of cards because everything you need is in this box. There are 500 cards here. 500 cards? Oh my god, this game sounds complicated, you say? No, it's not. Let me show you. This is roughly how the setup of Dominion should look like. Let me explain. Number one, this is the French version, so don't be confused by the words. These yellow cards are treasure cards. These are money. These are used to buy other cards, basically. These are victory point cards. The green ones are good ones. The purple one is uh, not so good. It's a negative victory point. These cards do nothing apart from score your points at the end of the game. This is my favorite card, the bin. Mm, yeah. And finally, the Kingdom cards. For a game, you use 10 out of the 25 Kingdom cards that come in the set. And these can be chosen randomly, or you can use one of the setups in the game. Now, these are basically actions which give you different special abilities. Some of them even let you attack other players. But some of them, like this blue one, is a defensive card which will stop players from attacking you. And some of them, like this green one, will give you a bonus to victory points conditions. Wow, wow, so how do you play? Let's play, woohoo! Each player will have 10 cards, three victory point cards and seven money cards. This is their deck, this is their kingdom that you're gonna be building, their dominion. You shuffle your deck, like so, every day I'm shuffling. Okay, and that is your deck. Then every player will have five cards in their hand and play will commence with a player. Now there are four steps. The first step is to play an action card if you've got one. I do not have an action card. The second step is you can buy one card. Okay, I've got three money so I am going to buy a village because on the bottom there it's marked that it's a value of three. That goes into my discard. 
The third step is you discard the rest of your hand. The fourth step is you draw five more cards. And then play goes to the next player. The game comes back to you again. So, go through the four steps again. The first step, play an action card. No action cards. Second step, buy a card. Ooh, I've got four money and one useless victory point. So, I will buy hmm, a militia. Four. That goes into my deck. I discarded my hand, so that's step three done. Fourth, draw five cards. Got no cards. You discard, it becomes your new deck. You give it a good shuffle. And then you draw five cards. Now play has come back to me again. And my first step is play an action card. And I happen to have one action card, which is the village. Which lets me draw another card from my deck. So I do so. And, ooh, I've got the militia. And it also lets me play two other action cards. Focus, focus. Well, I've only got one left, so I might as well play it. And that's the Militia. And that attacks all the other players. So they have five cards in their hand. They now have to discard down to three cards. Which is a nasty card. Unless they've got a moat. And then they show me that they've got a moat in their hand. And then the attack has no effect on them. So that's the action phase done. And then it goes into the buying phase again. I've got two money from the Militia, plus the two in my hand, and I can buy whatever card I wish to buy for the value of four. And the game will continue like this. You'll be buying cards to give you more cards, to give you more money, to buy victory points, and before you know it, the game is over. And it ends when there are no more sixes left in the victory points, or when three of the piles, doesn't matter which three piles, when they're gone, game over. Count your points, you win if you win, you lose if you lose. Summing up for Dominion, because that's what I do. But you already knew that. Dominion is a board game that everybody should play. Is it the best thing since sliced bread? No. But is it the best thing since toast? Yes. This game is very light to medium, I wouldn't say extremely light but it's light to medium and it is fun now why is it fun for me I see all the kingdom cards as cogs and I'm trying to make a watch and sometimes you put the wrong cogs in your deck and then time goes slowly or you put the right ones in and the time goes fast and it's this this me mechanism of building your deck as you're playing uh, which pushes you towards victory is, is fantastic for me. But the game is also like a race. Like, say, for example, the 1500 meters. Everyone will be putting themselves into a position with certain decks of cards and certain kingdom cards and one will be collecting lots of money while someone might be collecting uh, lots of villages or whatever. And everyone's getting into their position. And then the final lap will sound when someone buys the number six victory point the province and that's when it's all hands on deck and everybody is sprinting for that finish line to win great fun again I just like cards I like shuffling cards and it you do a lot of shuffling and as you can see from my deck um, they're all sleeves due to the fact that they've been shuffled so much that cards are starting to uh, degrade a bit. And when you mix them with the other sets, you can see which ones come from the first set or the second set because of the quality. I've also heard criticised that there's not much interaction in the game. For me, there's just the right amount of interaction. You have to be watching what people are buying into their decks to know what kind of strategy they're planning and how they're going to win, uh, especially when it comes to the victory points. But also, um, in regards to the action cards, the, the attack cards, sorry. Uh, the attack cards are interaction. You're doing something nasty to other players. You know, you're looking at their cards in their deck. You're taking cards away from their hand. Very interactive. And if you'd like that, then you'll like the Intrigue Edition, which has lots of cards which do the same kind of thing. The theme. The theme is very light. Um, yes, you're building a domain and it's kind of like in your head, not 
uh, a visual representation like Agricola. It's all in your head. You'll see your deck get bigger and bigger and bigger, but it's knowing what's in your deck. You know that you've bought some moats which will block attacks, or some moats. There's a couple of villages, there's a saboteur in there, there's a spy, there's a there's a blacksmith, there's a chapel, there's a cellar, you know, you know what's in there. So it, it kind of thematic. The artwork kind of represents, it's not strong, but it's there, you know, after a while you just look at the image and you know what that card does, which is which is art doing its job, I suppose. One thing I wish the game did come with is the black market card. Now the black market card you can buy online and it's separate like this um, and it's a kingdom card and basically it lets you use every single kingdom card in the game so you can create an, like an epic version you create a separate deck of one of each of the kingdom cards so when you play this card you can search through the top three cards and buy one of them so you have a unique card in the game so hopefully one day they'll put that in does this sound like a collectible card game to you Probably, but it's not really because you're buying the base set which has got everything you need to play. You can buy expansions like the Intrigue which is a base set as well um, and it gives you lots more variety that you can mix in. As I said, if the, if the black market card was in the base it would be fantastic. Um, there's about eight expansions for this game at the moment, so there's plenty of variety, there's plenty of replayability, just even in one box, because every time I've played, I will never just play one game and pack it away. It'll be two games or three games. You'll play it once, you'll play it a second time, you'll play it a third time. You may play with the same ten kingdom cards, or you may interchange. Make your own up, it's great for that. And the fantastic thing about Dominion is it started a craze of deck building. If you think that is too light for you, you should try something a bit more thematic. For example, Thunderstone. Thunderstone is the same thing. You've got hand of cards, you buy cards to put into your hand, or you defeat monsters to put in your hand, and each card has a benefit or something which doesn't benefit you. And it's, it's very thematic. You're going to a village to buy supplies, or you're going into a dungeon to fight monsters. One day I'll review it. So there you go. Dominion, good game, go get it. But you knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.